right, welcome back to the Uncreamers Custom Cars and Anything. Well, today I'm going to start calling this truck officially Red Dog. Because it's going to be, it's an old military truck. And, uh, I don't know, they had Red Bull, you know, and, you know, all that stuff for the Army. And so I'm going to call it Red Dog. Kind of short for Dodge. Dog. Red Dog. So anyway, I painted the grill shell rust oleum Rigo Red. Just like I said I was going to do. And then I, uh, I got the fan blowing at her. Painted the support rods today. Um, and obviously I did that a long time ago. I painted between the cab and the box. I mounted the kit having the box on for good and then the uh, got this put in and the radiator and you know and so yeah we're getting there got the kick down cable put on the tranny and uh, and this thing here uh, this scoop that's off my coop um, when I brought my dad's ashes to his final resting spot that was on that coupe so and I sold the car and I kept that so I thought to myself what a fitting place to put it on the military truck because he came from the Vietnam era he served uh, none of my other family served except for him and my uncle Paul and his grandson Tyler, they all served, you know, and Paul's gone too, and my dad is gone, and uh, may God rest their souls. So I thought, you know, it'd be a fitting deal, you know, to put that on, on this old military Dodge truck. So I'm going to ded dedicate this to all those guys, you know. I'll even dedicate it to your family members. Whoever they might be, may God bless them all. My hat's off to them all. I'm afraid now our democracy is going to the wayside, and I'm afraid when this... I don't want to get all political here, but... This guy that might become our president never served, and... I don't know. When he was got drafted, he, his doctor said that he had bone spurs, and so I'm I'm scared for our country right now, because I don't like none of them. I believe off the truth. I believe off the word of the God. I believe off of not hearsay or that say or well, I'm going to see it from my own eyes type of say. And I think that's what everybody should live by. You shouldn't have to go to a political event, no matter who it's for. And then once you leave, that's who you believe. That should never be that way. It should, it should, it, the track record of the person should always be the one that shows for the person. You know, and even in his personal life, it will affect the political life. Because if what he does, in, you know, when you do something in your personal life, you know, what are you doing for, for the public life? You know what I mean? It doesn't show responsibility. Because responsibility should always be to your personal life first. And then if you got to hide this lie with another lie and that lie and that lie, you know, and then you have a, I call it radicalization events, to make sure that you enforce what you say is the way. But yet... You leave that radicalization event, that's what I call them, but you still feel deep down inside your heart that that, that wasn't right, that wasn't, could that be true? Your heart should vote first. Your, whatever God you believe in, if you're a Christian, Muslim, atheist, whatever you are, Catholic, Lutheran, whatever, you should believe what your heart believes in, Okay? I'm not a political type of person, 
I just, uh, I'm the type of guy, I believe in you, you work with what you got, you believe in what you believe in, without a doubt that is, you know, and you share your views and your ideas publicly, but then you explain the why you do that, not just because you should believe in what I believe in, you know. I don't want to ever get this channel involved in politics. I want to remain as neutral as possible. I'm I'm independent, I'll tell you that right now. I'm independent. I'm not Democrat or Republican. I'm I'm just a guy that I think the good Lord would want your views to be based on your beliefs and what is right and what his beliefs are. But anyway, enough said about that that junk. Like I say, I'm not gonna get this channel politically involved in anything. You know, you can be for Trump against them, you can be for Biden and against them. I don't give a shit. Okay? I'm just gonna point blank come out and say that I just don't give a shit. And I'm sorry about swearing, but and the good Lord wouldn't want me to do that, but that's just the way it is gonna be in. I, I believe in uh, if you're convicted by juries and then you say that's not true, okay, there's got to be something wrong here then, okay, What's who's wrong, who's right, and there's too many coincidences in these politics today to, that you can't avoid it, you should be showing up at your, rally, uh, not rallies, but your debates, so you can tell me what you're going to do for us as a country. Not not about you. I don't want to hear about you. I want to hear what you're going to do for our, our, our country. And that's all I ever hear is what they're going to do for themselves. Both of them. When you go to a, a Trump rally or a Biden rally, ask yourself, He's telling me what he wants me to hear. It's like if you go to church and you sit there and the preacher's preaching to you, you don't raise your hand and say, oh, I don't believe that that an angel moved that rock when God was risen. Um, if you go to these rallies, you get kicked out if you start asking questions. They tell you, they pump in your head what they want you, just like what a dictator does. A dictator goes to work and he tells you what you're going to do, or you're going to listen to. Where a president of this country should tell you, like, this is what I'd like to do for the country with your help. And if you don't like it, let me know. Maybe we can meet in the middle somewhere. Not what I'm going to do. Or I don't have to go to these debates. Or that's childish. Debates were to inform the people of what candidate was best, what they felt was best for them. You know, rallies are you're rallying for the person that's there. There's a big difference, guys. But again, enough said. I'm not going to politicize this channel. And if you like this guy or that guy, hey, good for you. That's what makes our country. But if one guy tells the other guy, shut up now, that's not freedom anymore. And I think that's where our country is starting to go. But anyway, meanwhile, back at the ranch. Glad to have you with me here. No matter who you are, or what you are, or what you're doing, or where, you're, or whatever, I don't give a shit. As long as you're happy in your world, that you make your world to be. That's all I care about. And this channel is for entertainment. You can laugh at it, you can scream at it, you can cry at it, you can be happy about it, you can 
copy it. You can whatever you want to do. Do it. But anyway, I got the shifter in. You know, steering column obviously is in. Got the floor all sealed up, ready for undercoating. I got the uh, um, access door for the master cylinder. And today I'm going to put the gas pedal in. Um, hey, we're getting there, guys. And right here, right here is that tag. I got to clean that up. That's a brass tag, and that says "Made for the Military" by the Dodge Truck Corporation. So I'm going to dedicate that all. I want to dedicate this to my dad's, my stepfather, you know, and my my uh, real biological dad. They both served in the Vietnam era. Um, and my mom and dad originally got a divorce, and it was actually good for them. They actually got along better, and I gave them thumbs up. The rest of the family did the same. This is the best thing. It created a better, tighter friendships between everybody and everything. Divorce isn't good. I don't encourage it, but hey, it seemed to work good on our side. Then mom got remarried, dad passed away, and now my stepdad passed away from COVID, you know, and uh, I love them both. They're true fathers to me. But anyway, um, so I'm going to dedicate this to that, to those guys. When I drive it, they'll be riding shotgun in spirit with me. So, but yeah, but anyway, meanwhile, back to get the ranch again. I'm getting off a beat again, guys. I'm sorry. But uh, I apologize for that. But yeah, my fuel tank came, you know. And it's, it's only seven inches across here. Seven inches that way. And so I figure I'm going to put my fuel pump here and my battery here. I'm going to partition this off. I'm going to bolt in something, another, somehow. Then I'm going to have this fold down. And it's going to fold down like a mini tonneau cover. And then when I want to fill up the gas tank, I just fold this up and pour it in there. And then also, too, if I have problems with the fuel pump, the fuel filter is going to be right here and the battery. Hey, I think that's going to work good. Because this whole box from here all the way down to the end there is 8 foot. Okay, so when you fold this up, it's only 6 feet, but now minus this uh, 6 foot 5 or whatever it would be. <coughs> so if i got to haul something that's longer, I'll just have the tailgate down anyway, you know. I didn't want to do this at first, but then I started thinking, you know what, that might be a good idea. Don't have to have no filler necks, don't have to have, you can stand right there on the driver's side on the gas pump and put the nozzle in there and, yeah. So yeah. And yeah, so I got the, the rods here all painted, I painted them last night and I painted the grill shell and everything is rust oleum wriggle red <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking but I don't know about you man Hmm. But we'll just keep going with it. <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah, I'm going to bedline the, the back here and I'm going to paint this all beautiful Rust Oleum Regal Red. It'll have the dents in it, but this stuff fades out, you know, so it'll be like a satin. Well, even worse than that. Once you get it in the sun for a while, then it fades out and it's going to create its own patina, you know. Then it's going to look like the paint job was always a truck or something. You know what I mean? 
And uh, let's see, what else can I show you? Well, yeah, I got the kick down in. I explained that. I got the shifter in. That's the old school Hearst Indymatic. Paid ten dollars for it at a salt meet. And it doesn't have reverse lockout. Heh. That's the park lockout though. So I thought about notching that little shift deal out and then it would notch out, you know, for reverse. But oh well, we're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. So yeah. You know, I gotta admit though, it's looking better. Looking better. Got the header gaskets ordered so I can repaint the headers and put them on. Got a new starter ordered. I got, I figured about, uh, I don't know, two to three weeks. You know, oh, I got my air conditioning unit ordered too, eh? So we're going to have air conditioning and heating here too in the summertime. We're going to put that all together and I'm going to do a video on what it is. It's electric motor assisted air conditioning. So actually what's going to happen is there will be a condenser underneath the frame somewhere. Where? I don't know yet. And it's 15 by... What is it? I believe it's 15 by 12 inches. So I gotta find a spot to put that with electric fan on it. And then you know normally your air conditioning pump gets ran by the motor by your engine. But this is actually ran by electric motor. So I gotta somehow I'd like to fit that back here. You know, if possible. It looks like to me it may fit if I put the battery. I can mount the fuel pump up here maybe underneath my lid fuel pump can go here because a fuel pump doesn't like to pull it likes to push you know so maybe I'll put the fuel pump here or something I don't know maybe up here and then maybe I can still fit the electric motor for the AC pump here and the battery I'm gonna try to do this all or I can put one above one another or something maybe Put the pump down here and put the battery up here, maybe or something. I don't know. Now I just gotta run the two lines in the electrical. I'll put a hole in the floor here, rubber line, and drop down. And if you ever gotta take the box off, you just take the fittings off the AC pump and just run them through there. And take the box off. I'll make it so it's. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. I can see that already. Yeah, so anyway, um, yeah, so it's going to have, and I'm going to do a video on how to install that. So if you subscribe, it'll be there, guys, you know. But, um, what else can I, man, there's really nothing else to talk about, guys. You know, not right now anyway. Um, I'm trying to think here. But that's all that's really new here. You know? And if you can see the shifter, maybe not. Yeah. So in the next uh, two to three weeks, there's going to be a lot of videos coming out here. On technical things like installing air conditioner, heat, um air conditioner and heat I should say and then uh, the brakes are going to be hooked up the motor is going to be started we're going to wire up the wire up the truck and this patina is awesome it's on here right now and a lot of guys are just going no no don't touch it no I'm going to paint this all red and it's going to sit out in this baking sun and then it's going to get this patina again but it's going to be red, you know. So, and then I'll, I'll 
we'll do something, we'll clear it somehow or whatever we'll do with it. But, uh, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this spring, too, you know, my channel is called Dale Kramer's Custom Cars and Anything. So, I go fishing. So we're going to take a few days off of building cars. And then uh, we're going to go fishing out in my bass boat. And I'm going to show you some good old crappie and catfish hot spots. We're going to go for some muskies and northerns and sunfish. And I fish for everything in the freshwater side of things. And I have really some neat spots that I'm going to take you guys to. Um, and if you guys subscribe, you know, it's free, you know. And like I say, I, I try to put everything in playlists. So you can click on the playlist. And then it'll, it'll play automatically through all the videos like you're watching a movie. You know what I mean? But it would be really cool if you can subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Not going to force you. And again, even if you subscribe, it's still free. Yeah, and we're going to go do some drag racing on the 8th mile, too. This truck, believe it or not, is going to pull that little car over in the corner. And again, if you look at my playlist, you'll see little car build or whatever it's called. I don't even know what it's called. It's going to pull, this truck is going to pull that little car to the track. Approximately 17, 18 miles or so from me. I got an eighth mile track. It's called Grove Creek. And I'm going to pull the little car there with this. So when I pull in there, it's going to be kind of neat. And I want to put that all on video too. So there's a lot of exciting things coming up on this channel. And again, I don't care... If you're atheist, Christian, Muslim, do that, do this, do that, Republican, Democrat, Independent, uh, what party you're affiliated with, what your political beliefs are, I don't give a shit, just as long as you're my friend. Okay? I'm your friend. Okay? I consider everybody. I don't care who the hell you are. All I care is about you. The world is too small to be not friends. It, it's just, we all got to get along, you know? We all got to get along, no matter what we're, if, if somebody wants to shut down another guy's beliefs, it's, it's not free anymore, guys. It's not free. This country is built on of a at will that you could speak your mind within reason remember that within reason not just out of some ass you know my mom and dad told me to love everybody my dad when he died that's what he instilled in me So anyway, enough of that, okay? Let's go back to the positive side of things. And uh, when I get this all together, I'll send out another video. Uh, please like and subscribe, guys. Would appreciate it. And uh, take care and have a great day, guys, gals, whoever you are. Bye-bye.